This is a really simple process. I have been wrong before, and I could be wrong this time too. Massive electrical issues. All right, so where do we start? It's a bloody nightmare to be honest. This loom, I started pulling it apart and testing it. This loom that I thought was the problem is not the problem. Everything's disconnected. Then I realized that I'm just going, was just going down a rabbit hole. It was just going in the wrong direction. I've been inside it and I've done all sorts of stuff. I decided to try and just trace down the wires that run the main power into the car and turn the ECU on and, on and do all of that sort of stuff. What I've found here is quite unusual. I'm pretty damn sure that I should not be seeing this. I've pulled the seat out so I've actually got some room to move and gave it a vac so I'm not laying in crap. Now it's lying to me. She says put the bottle down, the pack your bags tonight. Fucking head up. Well, I've just cracked the rags because I went to test it again and what I was finding before is now not doing it. What the fuck is going on with this thing? Well, I guess that could be the uh, electrical ignition switch. I have to pull it out and test it. Quite frankly, I just don't have the headspace to be doing any more of it. I don't want to look at it anymore at the moment. I've just had enough. I can't rule out that there are any faults within this instrument cluster. It's the back of it. I can't rule that out. And at this point, I can't confirm that this ECU isn't damaged. I suppose it's just the price you pay when you uh, make a mistake. Real rookie mistake, but a mistake nonetheless. And when you let the blue smoke escape, it just isn't gonna happen anymore. Seems to have done so much damage to these wiring looms, I thought I think that they're almost unrecoverable. I've been chasing this electrical fault now for days. Like I've spent probably 30, 35 hours, I suppose, trying to find this fault. It is really being a pain in the ass. So I've pretty much identified that the fault is gonna be in this large loom behind the dash. This red one is the gauge 10 amp fuse. I should just have power on that. I'm getting an intermittent ground to that. Um, next step, I suppose, pull the whole dash out, pull that whole loom out. That's definitely not something I'd, uh, I'd bargain on doing. And there's so many wires in that loom that it's just gonna be a nightmare to try and identify it. I'm gonna try and find a donor vehicle, see if I can find something to get everything I need out of, because this is just not gonna happen. So I'm going to have a look around, see if I can find something with a damaged body. Hopefully I'll find something that actually runs good, fires up, does everything I need, then I can just transfer everything from a donor vehicle into this one. Uh, this body is brilliant. So if I can do that, that's going to be the go. All I need is a donor vehicle that runs, starts, drives, does everything I need it to do with a damaged body. And I need that for all the parts to whack into this. Well, I've found one and I've made a deal on it and uh, that'll be coming soon. It runs perfect. Um, it's been in a light rollover. Uh, body's a bit sad, but maybe recoverable, but that's not what I want it for. I want it as a donor. Before this donor 80 series Land Cruiser arrives, I've got to sort this shit out. So this vehicle be put over here, get everything up off the ground, make this space usable again, so I can actually finish this bloody thing. So this wall here, this is all gonna to be tools. I'm really over digging through this. That's something that's gonna make my life a lot easier. That's what I'm thinking, what do you reckon? Let me know in the comments what you think. think is that a good idea or is it a, a waste of time? <laughs> this bench here, um, once I dig it out, will be going over there. Shed's starting to look a bit better now. Almost, almost tidied up, ready to go. I should end up with enough space in here now to get two Land Cruisers in and um, do the work that I've got to do. This will be the last 80 series video for a while until I get that uh, donor here. Once I've got that here, I'm going to fall on into it and I make this damn thing run. Get it on the road, get it registered, get it in the bush. Yeah, that's really what I want to do. I'm, I'm overworking on it. So thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, do all that sort of stuff, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Cheers, bye. Ciao. Fucking right in there. Now I'm going to trace this wire back to wherever it goes to. Now it's lying to me. We'll get it on the road and 
and finally we might be able to get some bush. Get some bush. It doesn't seem so good. Hmm. Fuck this. Fuck that Feels like a cheer Ain't no worry, ain't no fear 